everybody welcome to my channel today is a flip through my latest journal video um, which I will do in a couple of minutes um, I just once again had an absolute blast didn't actually intend to make this theme at this point in time but sometimes when I start a, a cover and I I do the front cover it, it dictates the theme of my journal so obviously you can tell what this theme is going to be but before I show you this flip through, I want to share, um, I try to, as much as I can, which isn't every week, I try to do, or I try to join a collaboration by uh, Not Too Shabby Chic. Um, her name is Dale McBay. She hosts Friendship Friday. And um, I, I miss the odd one, or I actually miss more than I actually get to. But I thought today, before I show you the flip through, I would just, I have so much stash, as you all know. And I decided to just grab a few um, altered envelopes and tags and whatnot uh, on an, an altered envelope, or sorry, an altered white paper bag. And I'm going to put this in a little bundle and I'm going to randomly choose uh, a member or one of my subscribers. And I'm just going to send it as surprise happy mail. You won't know it's coming. Uh, well, you will if I don't have your address um, I have some of your addresses, um, but I'm going to do my own little throw your names in a bowl and, and draw one. And then if I contact you, then you're going to know it's coming to you. But that's okay, too. I will need your address for that. So I'll show you what you're getting. This is just a little impromptu, let's get rid of some more stash. So this is an altered, let me see, um, a manila envelope, I believe. Yes, a white manila envelope. And I used Amity Bloom's, one of her kits. And I just start decorating the panels and adding tags um, in the slots and whatnot. So hopefully you guys, whoever gets this, can use can use up some of this and, and uh, either use it in some journals or just, I guess, enjoy it as it is. But that's going to be one of the pieces you get in the bundle. This was done, oh my goodness, early on when I started junk journaling. It's just an, um, book pages folded over and little pockets with cute little fun things inside. It's like a little, I think, I think this was inspired by um, Stephanie from My Porch Prints, but I, I don't know, I can't remember, it's been way too long. So that's just a little ephemera holder, if, if you will. This is... Um, I think you might even remember this. It wasn't that long ago I might have posted this altered tag that uh, my mother-in-law um, inadvertently used in teaching me how to use my sewing machine stitches and I decided to keep that that page of hers that she sent home practice stitching and I put it into my files, my computer file and anytime I want to use it I print it off and I cut the bottom because it's wonky in size. I didn't do the size properly in the file but then I cut the bottom and I add a little pocket so I, I will always have this um, tag and I just I think it's pretty special to me but anyways it's a beautiful size tag so you'll be able to have some fun with it and you can put your own like these are large tags and I'm just adding more to it so hopefully you can enjoy that as well some little tags this there too and uh, I just backed a printable, cut it down, and I backed a printable onto some um, coffee dyed paper. I don't even know why. I just, sometimes I sit and play. And so, yeah, so that's what's coming as well. And this is just an altered envelope. You can tell by the, the uh, um, window. The, this is a larger, obviously, maybe junk mail. It's been a while since I've had this. So there's a little pocket there and a side pocket with a journaling card. This is uh, this is from the printable kit by Sweet Pea Curiosities, her 1940s kit. I didn't cover the back. Whoever gets this, you can do that if you want. And this is just a basic white paper bag. And I just folded it up, or I glued the sides here, and I added a printable. I don't know whose printable it is, I couldn't tell you, but then I just used a brad and I put some really nice, beautifully sized journaling um, cards together. 
and I don't know whose printable kit this is. Again, I'm sorry, it's been too long. These these uh, items have been sitting in my book Rolodexes. So, yeah, I can't recall. But if any of you know, you know what? Just put it down in the description box. That'd be great. I always love to give credit where credit is due. Honestly, it's, it's what we do as th this artist community. This is just another Brad put together. Some journaling cards. I thought this shoe was a cute little tab. So another journaling, nice journaling spot. So yeah, this little bundle's gonna be going out to somebody and um, stay tuned. By the way, the other, the winners of my previous giveaway, um, I just have not had time this week to get to the packaging. I will get to it early to mid next week, you guys. Um, and I will let you know the day I send out your, your um, winnings. So I appreciate your patience. And um, so stay tuned. Okay, let's get to this. This little gem was fun, as usual. You can all tell that I love making journals. Honestly, it's pretty obvious. And I, I want to share something that uh, my sister-in-law pointed out um, a couple of days ago on, on my Instagram. I think I posted this journal and I said there'll be a video coming soon. And she commented, her name is Cindy. She's my sister-in-law. She's the wife of my brother's youngest brother. Uh, sorry, my husband's youngest brother, whom my husband adores. It's like his, I think his one, Vic is one of my husband's favorite people on the planet. And so anyhow, his wife had commented, she said, uh, how did she put it? You don't make journals, you make treasure chests. And I just thought that was so sweet of her to say. And then I got to thinking, well, maybe, maybe there's some truth to that in that for some reason, my journals end up full, very interactive, full of little hidden treasures and I don't know, maybe that's what she meant. I don't know. I took it as a compliment, so I'm going with it. So let's just go through this. It's a muslin tie. I tried to, because it's a sewing theme, I thought I would try to keep it to some fabrics and lace and whatnot. So that's the tie. Look at the cover. The cover I kept clean and simple. Um, I, I, put, I put this image on wonky. And I cut off a portion and then I sewed around. This is a double, a double packed uh, file folder journal with a three and a half inch spine. So it's nice and sturdy uh, and I do like to use file folders. So and I kind of did some corner plates and I used some rickrack, which I thought was perfect in color. I have a bunch of rickrack in some old train cases full of sewing notions. So it was fun to take it out. And use up. See, isn't that pretty? The colors just somehow blended. And of course, I like these. I've recently happened upon these at the dollar store. They're they're like wooden buttons on some, you know, burlap flowers, if you will, which I thought lent themselves well to this theme. So, okay, let's go inside. I'm gonna try not to talk too much. Usually, I play music. This this time, I'm not. I'm just gonna try to talk through this and just flip through. So, look at these images. I tend to I tend to oversize when I print. So I thought I would use this for the inside cover and I made a pocket. I cut the bottom. Obviously her legs are cut off, but I added the pocket with her legs still intact and I used some um applique, some lace ribbons. And then I stuffed these little tags, although they're not little, they're decent sized, but aren't they cute? size fiber care some uh, washing machine directions and this i just printed off somebody put this out as a freebie and i apologize it was this morning i was in a bit of a hurry and i don't know who this is if somebody knows please put her name down in the description box meanwhile i'll look for it so let's put these in the pocket and this is cute um uh fabric flip card isn't that sweet i just added the pieces of of, uh, I think I have about six of these throughout the journal and I added a fabric to each. It's a, it's a fabric swatch. So that tucks in there. And then the oversized tag is, I put one of these at the beginning of every signature and then they flip out. I'm all about flipping out for some extra journaling 
spots. You could add a photo. And I tried to leave several blank pages because if I end up keeping this, it gives me options. If I send it out, then there's lots of room to make this your own. Okay, so this is another journaling card. I believe it's from the free domain off Pinterest. And I just added some. I used a lot of this throughout. I like to kind of use for collaging different things. It's from the pattern packages that we all get at thrift stores. And I did some sewing. I added that this here, as you can see, as a backing, we left some room for writing. And this here, I just want to make sure I'm in camera. So this here is one of the hidden, so it looks like a typewriter. And then you lift it out and it's a hidden typewriter journaling card. I just fell in love with this printable. I will link this lady at the bottom because I'm forgetting. I am terrible. I have so many different printables and I'm finding it difficult. I should have written it down before I did this. So here's some tracing paper, which I like because you can see the image on the next page through it. And I used my circle punch and I punched out some spools. Then I double, double, um, double uh, glued this image so that it was sturdier and I added some more lace and a little dangle that says, I love sewing. And this is just some craft paper, some stenciling, because you know, I just got this stencil not long ago. So you're going to see a lot of this little um, stenciling throughout. And these little cards were adorable. So it says, hello, it's an old fashioned telephone. So hello, and this says goodbye. So I thought it was kind of fitting. I added lace topper. I just thought that looked kind of cute. Some more of that see-through paper. This was just a file folder piece and I added um, some of this, an off cut of a paper pad. And then I glued some of this on it. As you can see, you can see right here, the simplicity. And then I just took an off cut and I added it for texture and some lace and this adorable freebie tag. I backed onto file folder and I stitched around and I think this is from, I wanna say Caroline's Craft Tree, but I can't recall. And a little um, belly band. You're gonna see these throughout. I loved this. Um, printable because it's obviously sewing sewing themed and it's by G Kerr and I know happiness and crafting so I know several of you would already know who this is and this was purchased at least two years ago and I'd never used them so I thought what a perfect journal to use them in and I took an off cut stitched around used a stamp made some eyelets and tied more of that vintage ribbon so I think it looks kind of pretty. And another uh, fabric swatch card. And I just made this into a pocket. A little tag goes in there. This I love this. This paper I purchased from Amazon. Sometimes I'm lazy and I don't get to coffee dye in my own. So, Okay, one of my favorite spreads is this one. First of all, look at this lace. Gorgeous. And I added a couple little spools for the, um, just to kind of decorate the pamphlet stitch thread. The theme, of course, sewing in with the spools, I thought it was cute. Now, if you remember my mother-in-law's card, see how often I can print and use them? They have a wonky edge to them, but that's okay. Um, so you can't see all of her handwriting because I ended up gluing a pocket from part of the tag so but that's okay and then I took a couple of uh, I cut down a printable and I sewed around it and I added some coffee stains and just tucks in beautifully there same thing here did some wonky stitching I had never done that before so it was fun I did quite a bit of stitching this time around Partly because yesterday I made a big, I was in the kitchen throughout the day quite off, quite a lot. And, and I didn't want to stand at the stove doing nothing. So I took out my sewing machine and I sat there while I was cooking and stirring and 
watching my stove and I did a lot more sewing than I do typically. So this is just a couple of journaling cards. That's upside down. Craft paper. Uh, this is a tailor-made journals um, envelopes kit. It's like a flip down journaling spot and just a tag. Yummy coffee of, or a cup of coffee of some sort. Some more stenciling, again, this beautiful see-through um, tracing paper. And then this is one of those, uh, this is a printable, and I'm not sure from who, but it's cute because you can do lots of, you can stuff lots of things in it. And then I made, again, the g Kerr tags, and I just backed them onto file folder. I added some of my own collage there from the pattern inside the uh, pattern package and stitched around, added some lace and some of this gorgeous lace topper. And so they just slipped down in here like so. Cute sewing image, and some muslin flip out. I, I guess the reason I'm starting to do a lot of flip outs more often is because I do like to allow the whole sheet for journaling. So I try to, I try to mix it up. Look at this beautiful paper. Okay, so here we have one of those telephone um, cards cut and just I used corner pockets. So this I've had in my stash. It's adorable. It's one of, I, I've seen you all use some of these but I found this at a thrift store. So it was perfect in this journal. And of course this sewing tag and a Paris a little journaling card and tracing paper, some light stenciling. And here's another pocket or a tag belly band on the side, side pocket. I laced it up. And this is an adorable printable. I just got it off the free domain, I believe, and stitched around and added some collaging. It fits in beautifully there. So this is just some paper used. So that's the end of Signature 1. So Signature 2. I love how this journal lays flat. And I believe it's because when I do my signatures now, I'm learning that if I leave more space than I would normally, it lays decently flat. So I kind of like that. So here's my flip out tag, nice sewing themed. So these are um, heavy cardstock tags. Or did I use file folder? I'm not sure, but they're nice and sturdy. Coffee dye staining. So are you guys, you're going to see a lot of that. I'm going to get sick of it at some point, maybe. I'm not sure, but I do like using it. So this is some of that crunched up pattern paper and I just sort of made a little wrapped some lace around it and added a button well, not sure how that looks but oh well it's part of the journal now and again look how that is nice and see-through so I did a middle belly band and another one of those tags I sewed around it looks kind of pretty there and another fabric swatch Egg. and this is handmade by and this is from um, shabby art boutique she's fabulous she she makes some beautiful things and here's another one of those this is a pocket tuck here and is another one of those secret journaling cards just sticks right into in the middle of that so it's kind of fun and there's and like I said this is a journaling spot Let's see. See? I'll just leave that in there for now. Coffee staining. Another one of those tags. I just decided to do some handmade tags in there by, by a Shabby Art Boutique. And so here we have um, a fabric lace flip, double layered with a little bit of a 
fabric cluster and a button. So this is secured down to the page and it's a pocket. I just wanted to try to use up the sewing tags in, in a different fashion. And here are some sewn sewing images. Oops, I'll put in one at a time. So it makes a cute pocket, I thought. Pocket cluster. And this is a cute printable. Free domain, I believe, again, on from Pinterest. And another fabric swatch. See, this one I glued... Oh, yeah, I thought I had glued the whole thing down, but I didn't mean to. But it's clearly coming up. And this is a cute printable little journaling card. So this is, whoops, side pockets here. And it's a, a beautiful printable. I just cut in half and now they're pockets. You can stuff whatever you want. And here again is a couple of spools as the dangles. And I, um, in some of the middle of the pages, I did some, just some extra adhering. And of course I used the pattern, tissue paper, if you will. Did some tearing apart some off cuts. Isn't that adorable? Look at these cute little takes. They're so cute. I love these little pockets. And one, another scissor tag backed onto file folder. A little bit of collaging. And another one of these dangles and this is a hanger tank a dangle so this is just a printable i don't know where i got it from but i backed it onto brown paper and i used a portion of this and i strategically placed the c and caught the word simplicity on the back so this is a little side band here and i covered it with is a file folder book page as you can see through and then i used some of this pattern tissue and another pocket with a fabric least not least flip up cute printable cute tag backed onto brown bags sewed around I love this stitch it's one of my favorite stitches and a couple little sewing tags and another side page um, pockets and more of that CC paper, tracing paper, and another one of the pockets, only this one is the bigger one. So I'll put the first one in here and then you just can play with it however you want. And then another couple of these tags. I just really love using this paper. If you, if you ever want to know what you can do with this, use it for collaging. It's fun to work with. It's easy to adhere because it's so thin. And this is a pocket I made ages ago. Um, I just decided to use as a flip out. And this here, it's hilarious actually. So I ended up making a fabric flip, lace fabric flip did a bit of sewing and what these are you know how I don't throw stuff out so this is an eyelet card and I believe that this whole package that I bought came with these cards these eyelet cards and instead of chucking them because they're nice and sturdy I just did some altering and made it so that I backed it onto cardstock and made a little journaling spot at the back so Guys, don't throw anything out. You know how that goes. You can make all junk make look, you can make junk look beautiful. Here's a little side um, measuring tape for, for visual. Another opening flip out tag. So we're into the third and final journal, our signature. So here is part of the image that I used at the front of the journal. I just made a smaller off cut of it. I did some, I adhered some beautiful lace and I took a plain old 
safety pin and I added some seed beads. And I just topped it with a pair of scissors and I used an off cut and I made a top pocket. And so here we have, this is just a book page pocket, a little cluster of fabric. And this I, I glued on wonkily so it doesn't come up, it's part of the page. But I just thought it added a nice little texture and, and look. And here's another fabric flip, a uh, fabric chess watch. This was last minute, actually. I just sat down to make a video and I realized there was a page I hadn't done. So I thought, oh no, what am I going to do? So I had already put this piece in the middle for extra um, covering using the pattern paper. So I just took this gal that was sitting beside me in a bucket of off cuts. I adhered her on the side here, grabbed a couple more sewing tags. And then I had a few left, so I decided to make tag flip outs. And I added some word spots for whatever, little journaling spots. So yeah, I'm a flippy outy tag pocket girl, as you all know. I think, well, this journal will look different, but you know what? I know that they're often very similar. I just can't help myself. I suppose we all have a... We all have a flavor to our journaling. Okay, so this is a belly band I had made. Again, one of G. Kerr's ideas. I made this, I bet you, two years ago at least. Three maybe. And it was sitting around in a stash. And I thought it would look very pretty because I found that the colors blended, you know, decently well. And then I just took this 60 inch tape measure journaling card and it fits beautifully in the belly band. So another nice journaling spot. This paper is from Lisa from Sirius Hecka. She has some um, echo dyed papers. Here's a side fabric pocket and a little bit of coffee dye stenciling. And here is a really cute sewing machine image that I backed onto paper bag and did my favorite stitch around it. So it tucks in there beautifully. Okay, what else do we have here? This is nice and smooth, this paper. Got a corner pocket and another one of these. And I guess I did a bit of a cluster of these side page. <clears throat> I used two instead of one, just maybe just to change it up a bit. And I added another journaling card. So this I've had, I bought this at the dollar store years ago, and I had a few of them that I've been using over time. And I thought, what can I do with this card finally? Because she had a, a, some tool on the dress, I thought that because it's texture, I thought it would look nice in this journal. So what I did is um, I left the card to open, did some coffee staining, and I kept the envelope because it's a pocket. And I forgot to put something in there. Let's just see if this fits. Oh, look at that. One of the eyelet cards fits. And so I, I used it as a flip out. So I just kind of glued, glued the envelope flap behind this page and it's a flip out. So here we have how I used it. Finally, there's some more of that paper. So here are a couple more of those cute large tags and I flipped them out. Nice centerpiece of the pattern paper. A little sewn around pocket and another one of these tags. Backed onto file folder. Oh, I had fun with my sewing machine. Oh, I forget to use it a lot, so I'm really glad, especially for this journal that I took it out a lot. This is just a cut up envelope. I think it's one of TaylorMade's. I think, I'm not sure, but here's just a little tag journaling card cluster and the cutest brad, safety pin brad. And a little cluster of paper for an extra journaling spot. Tucks down here and a couple more sewing tags. And 
This dango is a sewing machine. I find dangles uh, that the ball pins work well on the side uh, when you do your fabrics and stuff. Uh, they, they somehow hang nicely from those pieces. All right, so this was in my stash for quite some time. It's in this cute envelope. Um, I glued one side down. I think it opened into a trifold, but I glued the one side down and I made this large card. This is not a sewing card, but it is a destination travel card. I have used this um, in a previous journal and I just glued, did some collaging, did some sewing. So pretty. And it fits just beautifully right there. So that's a nice large journaling spot. By the way, don't let this intimidate you. Journal over it. It works beautifully. So here is a pocket. A large, uh, you saw the smaller version of this. I, I printed this out at um, larger and I used it for a pocket. So inside this pocket, I have two journaling cards and a little bundle of this paper. Try to, I try to keep some off cuts of, the, of a project that I finish so that I can just tuck, tuck a part of that project away on one of the pages for some authenticity. But are these not the most cutest things? I just printed these off the free domain um, after lunch today on Pinterest. So let's see. So this one is a pair of scissors and some little girl images. Great Falls, New Hampshire, I believe. And I just used some off cuts and I made... Um, another little dangle spot and a journaling a journaling spot so it goes there fits beautifully and this one is the singer uh, Dorcas Society singer family sewing machines are so simple and light running that even the youngest children can easily learn how to sew on them and how cute are these images of these little girls oh so I kept it and I made it into a journaling uh, let's see. I think what I did was I put it this way and this way. And the reason I do often will do it this way is so that when you flip the page over, you can see um, that it's the, the image side of the, the journaling card that you pull out. So there you have it. And this is a dangle of a, of a yarn spool or a, a yarn. I'm not even sure what you call it. And this is a pair of scissors. And we're getting to the end. So this is one of those cute safety pin journaling cards and it's a flip up. And one last swatch card. And I added a couple little spools of ephemera. So it's sort of a secret hidden spot. And then I added one more side dangle or um, belly band with book page and more of this and then I took an off cut because you can't throw them out always use them up and this is one of those freebies I printed off today and it looks beautiful there I found and that is it we are near the end this is a corner telephone tuck another one of those pegs and this completes the journal. Decided to put the same thing I did on the inside of the cover at the front, at the back. I just loved this image so much and I used some more applique trim. And this one says handmade by and especially for. And just another handmade by. And an extra little guest check tag. I did some wonky sewing. So there it is. I absolutely love it. It was fun to make. It's always it's always such a fun feeling when you complete a project. I must have sat down, I don't know, half a dozen times thinking I was finished and I added more. But this time I'm done. It, it, it closes beautifully, as you can see. And even though it's thick and full of goodness, it still closes perfectly, um, you know, flat, I guess, if you will. And again, if you want a tip, it's because I left a good amount of space between the, the um, journaling signatures. And I'm discovering that helps. 
So, but that just means you got to have a thicker spine if you're going to do multiple signatures. But that's okay because I usually do anyway. Okay. Oh yeah, and I forgot about this. This this is a little extra I did. Um, I'd made this a couple years ago, but it's uh just a printable from Shabby Art Boutique. She she like I said has beautiful printables. And I simply printed out the eight by eleven, and then I mod podged it. You can see some of the shine, and then I sewed in a signature of just some fun papers, plain papers. I was newbie at the time, so I didn't get too adventuresome, but just some journaling pages. And then today, I added a side um, pocket, and then these I'd already made in the past, and these are <clears throat> some sorry silk edged tags as well, and I made a couple extra little journaling booklets that I had sitting around and I just sort of, like I said, put this on today for to hide some of the inside. And they just tuck away in here. And it's just an extra little, I don't know, sometimes I do extra little things. And so that's that. I thought that was cute. It does not match the color theme at all, but that's okay, it doesn't have to. We have no rules going on here. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you stopping by. If you're still here, thank you so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that um, my video flip throughs will inspire some of you just for ideas because you all know we love to inspire each other. We all have our own gifts and talents and I learned so much from everybody. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and again... This will be going to somebody, so stay tuned. And also to my winners, um, hang in there, guys. You'll be receiving your gifts in the next couple weeks, depending on how long the mail takes and whatnot, okay? So everybody, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Do something crafty, and I will see you possibly next week. Okay, bye for now.